Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video I've got four autographs through the mail TTMs to show you and we're going to open up two more packs of the 2023 20, tops. Hoping I get something a little better than I've gotten the last few packs. Uh, we're going to start with some TTMs. The first one is from Atlanta Metro. We have got Glenn Hubbard. He signed 4 of 4 in 8 days. He had a career batting average of 244 with 70 home runs, 448 RBIs. He played 12 years. He appeared in 1,354 games. He played from 78 to 89, and he played with Atlanta and Oakland. He was an all-star in 1983, and in that year, he hit 12 home runs, drove in 70, and batted 263. And he has got a pretty sweet autograph, I would say. And that is Mr. Glenn Hubbard. He is currently a minor league coach in Class A. I got him last year in person. I think he signed, I think he only signed two in person, I believe. But again, he's got a pretty, I like his, I like his autograph. All right, our second return is from San Francisco, California. We have got John Bocabelli. He signed two of two in 11 days. He had a career batting average of 219 with 26 home runs, 148 RBIs. He played 12 years, appeared in 551 games. He played from 63 to 74. And he played with the Cubs, Expos, and Giants. And his best year was in 1973 when he hit seven home runs, knocked in 46, and batted 233. John Bocabelli. All right. We're going to open up a pack of these. We're going to open up two packs on this video. The last couple of videos, I only opened up one, and we didn't get too great success, so we're going to change it up a little bit. We have Travis Swaggerty, Randall Gitchick, Gritchick. I'm not a big fan of those. Not a big fan of those uniforms. We have Luis Garcia. You know, I was going to say when I was showing that uh, Glenn Hubbard card right there. I was going to say, you're not going to see many um, modern day cards like that because no one bunts anymore. And here we go, three cards later. Here's Luis Garcia laying down a bunt. <laughs> we have Albert Almora. We got Vlad Jr. There's a good one. We got a Freddie Freeman. Abraham Toro. Willie Adamas, we have got a pick a game for a shot to win home run challenge card, Freddie Freeman. All right. We have a Mookie Betts, stars of MLB. Blake Snell with his yellow sleeves. We have Mr. Sosa, Miggy, and Kyle Bradish. So that was a nice one. Got a home run challenge card. I've never sent a home run challenge card in, but this year might be the first time. All right, our next return is from Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a racing return. We have got Waddell Wilson. That is point number four in Caleb's TTM challenge. Uh, Mr. Wilson, he signed two of one in six days as he threw in one of his, um, threw in an extra. 
He was a NASCAR uh, crew chief and engine builder. He was a crew chief for uh, Daytona 500 winners in 1980, 83, and 84. Um, in, 19, or in 2006, he was awarded the Golden Wrench Award by the North Carolina State North Carolina Stock Car Racing Hall of Fame. That is Waddell Wilson, crew chief and engine builder. Point number four in the challenge. All right, we're going to open up our next pack. I believe this is pack number six. So I'll have one pack left, which will have that patch inside. We have Joey Votto, Brad Miller. We got Lou Bob, Kevin Kiermeyer. We got O'Neill Cruz, Future Star, Polar Bear, Adley Rushman. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty right there. Let's go ahead and put him on a stand. Adley Rushman, rookie card. Very nice. We have Aaron Judge. We have got a Rafael Devers Greatest Hits. We got a Pete Alonzo again, stars of MLB. Brady Singer, Seth Lugo. Jesus Sanchez and Jacob DeGrom. So we did get we did get a lot of stars in these two packs. Lots of stars. And then one big one right there, Adley Rushman. All right, our final return is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have got Bill Melton. He signed three of three in 34 days. He had a career batting average of 253 with 160 home runs, 591 RBIs. He played 10 years. He appeared in 1,144 games. He played from 68 to 77. He played with the Cubs, Angels, and Indians. He was an All-Star in 1971. In that year, he hit 33 home runs. Knocked in 86 and batted 269. He also led the league in home runs that year with that 33. And the year before that, in 1970, he hit 33 home runs again, 96 RBIs, and he batted 263. So for a two year span there with 66 home runs, he was a legit power hitting threat at the plate. That is Bill Melton. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoy. hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, if you um, have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.